guys, you know, first and foremost, you guys have had two big wins in one week. What's been clicking for you guys early on in the season? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we've just, we've just been able to go out and play our game. Um, you know, we've had a game plan going into both games, and so we've we've tried to stick to that, and uh, I think we've done a good job of doing so. Good deal. Now, I mean, was there a specific moment in tonight's game that you were like, okay, we're, the Braves are really starting to cruise, mm -hmm. cruise in this one, and we're feeling good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd say our, our plan was to, you know, jump on them right from the start, and I think we were able to do that. Um, you know, our, our press was working well, and we were able to really distribute the ball well to each other and you know, get it moving. And so I think, um, you know, the first quarter was, um, you know, it was big for us. How big of a, of a relief is it that when you can jump up to, like, a 16-point mm -hmm. lead like that? Really yeah, um, obviously it feels good, but you, you never want to take your foot off the gas. Um, so our, our game plan was just to keep going at them and uh, keep playing just as hard as before. Good deal. Now, a big night again for you. 21 points led the team in scoring. What were you seeing out there? What was clicking for you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, you know, my teammates were just able to give me the ball. Um, like I said, we were moving it great, um, playing inside out, uh, getting offensive rebounds, all, all that type of stuff. So it, it just worked well. You guys, two big wins, one week. What's been clicking for you guys early on in the season? Uh, it's just chemistry. We're coming out here. We're playing hard. We're playing good on the defensive end. We're talking. We're rebounding. We're doing all the little things that it takes to win right now. Good deal. What's, uh, what's Coach Davidson been preaching to you guys in the locker room before you guys hit the court? Uh, never take it easy. Always come out here right when we step between the lines that we're going to play our hardest. So come out here and play our hard out. And that's what he's been preaching the most often. Was there a moment in tonight's game where you kind of felt that uh, Blackhawk was starting to get into the driver's seat and control this thing? Yeah, we were ready from the tip. I think right when we came out, our energy out of the locker room was just something that we've never really had before. It was just a great energy and we were ready to play right during the tip. Big night for you. I think you finished with about 20 points tonight. What were you seeing out there? What was clicking for you? Uh, we just had great ball movement. They're giving me open shots, uh, great rebounds, and then they kicked it to me for a three. It was just a lot of my team doing a lot of good things out there. You know, you and Caitlin kind of work as a one-two punch. It seems like when they're doubling him in the paint, they leave you open on the perimeter or vice versa. How do you guys like to feed off each other in your play? Yeah, Caleb's a great player. He's one of the best in the country, and he's just awesome. He finds open man. That's why I love playing with Caleb. He always makes the right pass, and then when he doesn't pass it, he has a nice dunk or something, so he's a great player. You know, Coach likes that next game mentality type yep. of standpoint. What was his message to you guys in the locker room after the game? You have got to come prepared. we got another good game tomorrow. It's going to be a tough one against a team from Ohio, so just go home, rest, and be ready to come tomorrow to play. Two big wins so far this this week already what's been clicking for you guys early in the season well for us it always starts on the defensive end and I just think we've been really dialed in defensively uh, our guys are doing a lot of little things diving on the floor and drawing charges and getting into position and uh, you know, our rebounding has been really good uh, both games so far and that's something that needs to continue what do you think about that intensity that uh, from the start I mean getting up to a 16-0 run in the first quarter well I think that was really important um, anytime you're playing a team that you have more experience than when you can get out to the quick start like that, I think that's always important. So um, I thought Jacob, Jacob Boyer drawing that charge early, I thought it was, a, it was a big momentum play, and our guys kind of built off that. Good deal. Now the week's not over yet. you got another big game tomorrow. How do you turn around and prepare for, prepare for that? Well, we got to be ready, you know, and it's, it's kind of a strange week. I, I like a three-game week once in a while because it kind of mimics the sectional. And so, um, you know, we'll have to be ready. Hamilton's a very good team, so we'll have to be re ready to play tomorrow. What was your message to the guys after the game tonight? Well, we talked a lot about intangibles, you know, doing little things. And we had, we'll see on the film because we track diving on the floor. But we had several guys that dove on the floor. And I think, you know, when Caleb first dives on the floor early in the game like that, that sets the tone. And I think, you know, when, when they see him doing that, they're, suddenly everybody's diving on the floor. So I think those intangibles were big for us. Two 50-point wins in one week. Is it safe to say that you're proud of this team so far this season? So far, it's early. I mean, we got a long way to go. We got things we got to continue to get better at. Um, so we'll just keep taking it one day at a time and one game at a time. Good deal.